In this episode, you will learn how to make this one meter long RC paper airplane using 5 mm thick foam board, 2600 kV brushless DC motor, 30 ampere ESC, 1500 mAh LiPo battery, and the FlySky FS i6 transmitter and receiver. The reason this is called an RC paper airplane because its shape is very similar to the paper airplane. So throughout this video, I'll call this is the RC paper airplane. Anyhow, initially I started with 1000 kV brushless motor and this wasn't able to produce enough thrust to lift this RC paper airplane. Then I tested it with a 1400 kV brushless motor and result was the same. Finally, I decided to use a 2600 kV brushless motor which produces over plus 1000 grams of thrust. After fixing this 2600 kV brushless motor and other electronic parts and battery, I checked the overall weight of this RC paper airplane which is around 630 grams. So a motor with plus 1000 grams of thrust should easily lift this RC paper airplane. Prior to the flight test, I checked the center of gravity. It should be a little nose heavy. Never fly an RC airplane with tail heavy. By changing the position of the battery, you can change the CG or center of gravity. Finally, I checked the control surfaces and the brushless DC motor using my FlySky FS i6 transmitter. Later in this video, I will explain how to set up your FlySky FS i6 transmitter and receiver. So after doing all the checking, I started with my initial test which was to check the amount of thrust it can produce. The 2600 kV brushless motor was able to lift this RC paper airplane up in the air without any problem. This video is sponsored by AllPCB. Feel free to visit their website allpcb.com to not only find out what awesome PCB and assembly services they offer, but also to easily upload your Gerber files and this order affordable and high quality PCBs quickly. Besides this, you will also get a $30 coupon balance which you can use to get your first prototype order for free. You can start by clicking on the first link in the description. After two or three fail attempts due to my bait controlling, as it's my first time using this transmitter, Seriously, as a beginner, it's very hard to control such a high-speed RC airplane. Anyhow, I didn't stop and continued with my efforts to make this fly. Finally, I was able to fly this RC paper airplane for around 2 minutes and then the battery completely drained. Because I was using a small 1500mAh LiPo battery, anyhow, this was a great success for me. Without any further delay, let's get started. The components and tools used in this video can be purchased from Amazon. The components purchase links are given in the description. The building part is quite simple. So sit back and enjoy the music.
We have two servos and a 1000 kV brushless DC motor. The brushless motor is connected with channel 3 and the two servos are connected with channels 1 and 2 of the receiver. The servo motors are connected with the control surfaces called elevans. The reason these control surfaces are called elevans because their both work is elevator for the up and down pitch movement and is the ailerons for the roll movement of the RC plane. So anyhow the transmitter is already bound to the receiver. Before you start setting up the elevans, make sure you remove the propellers. Check all your connections and then go ahead and connect your battery to power up all the electronics. Now turn on your transmitter and you can start by checking your control surfaces using the control sticks or joysticks. You can see when I move the control stick in the downward direction or in the upward direction, I'm only able to control the left side control surfaces this is because the two servos are connected with different channels. The same thing happens when I move the control stick to the left and right. Channel 3 is working fine. I can control the speed of brushless motor. The only problem is with the channel 1 and channel 2 and this is the reason the two servo motors behaves in an abnormal way. This is what we are going to fix now. Press and hold the OK button to open the main menu. Open the setup functions. Press the down key to scroll down and select the Elevan and press the OK button. You can see the Elevan is set to off. To turn this on, press the up key and finally press and hold the cancel button to save the changes. Now let's go ahead and check if the problem is fixed. Now you can see the two channels are mixed and now I can control both the servo motors at the same time but they are working in the opposite way. The goal is when I move the control stick down or up the control services should move up and down both at the same time while for the control stick left and right movement the control services should move in the opposite directions so let's fix this open the main menu open the functions setup click ok to open the reverse function Press the up key to reverse the channel 1 and that's it. Now press and hold the cancel key to save the changes. Now let's check again if the problem is solved. Now this works exactly the way I wanted it to work. After performing my tests, I made a few changes. I replaced uh, the 2200mAh battery with this 1500mAh to reduce the weight. So I highly recommend this battery for the beginners. Once you learn the making and controlling the RC plane, then you can purchase large size batteries. I used these self-adhesive sticky back tape with the receiver side and other electronic parts. I also replaced the 1000 kV brushless motor with the Skywalker 2600 kV motor. The 30 ampere ESC and other electronics remains exactly the same. You can see these large openings. I actually cut this to test different propellers and finally I selected this AT45 propeller which works great with this RC plane. 
Finally, don't forget to secure the servo motor mounting hardware with this screw and also use adhesive tape with the control surfaces. After fixing all the electronics, I check the weight of my RC paper airplane. Finally, I set the center of gravity or CG, which is really an important step. I already explained this in the start of this video and I also shared the failed test flights and the successful test flight. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.